Yeah, hi, I'm Mike. I love to travel and I love to go to weird festivals. So I learned about this metal festival in Nepal. Yeah, you heard right, Nepal. So I thought, why not go to Kathmandu and check it out? So welcome to the Nepal Death Fest. Because uh, I always want to go to Nepal, and what better reason to come than for the Paul Dutch Fest? So, where are you from? Uh, well, I'm from the United States, but I live in Finland. So. How do you like the Nepal Dutch Fest? Yeah, I'm pretty busy right now. I haven't seen anything. Do you like it? Yeah. You can interview this guy. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Where are you from? America. Where are you from? America. Why? Why are we from America? Are you America? here? Just <laughs> born there, man. Look at the draw, I guess. I'm not yeah. sure. from Belgium uh, playing with Onanizer, uh, this third concert, uh, first one in Nepal. So, yeah, that's pretty it. It's Andre, I'm the drummer. Hello, I'm Andre, I do vocals for Onanizer. I'll be famous now? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Yeah, <laughs> Nepal Death Fest is about to start. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Were you in the circle pit? Uh, well, no, 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 no. Were you in the circle pit but yesterday? We are planning to. We are just going there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we are yeah. just doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so go. I'll leave you to the circle pit now. I'm sitting here with Vishal, one of the producers or makers of the Nepal Death Fest. Uh, when did did it come to mind uh, to make a death metal festival in Kathmandu? What yeah. what was what the original idea? Yeah, it was like in uh, uh, two, uh, 2013 uh, when I met this guy Jeevan Guru, and then we both have a common interest uh, common interest about this extreme metal, and then we decided to start up this uh, death death fest in Nepal too. Mm -hmm. And then, and then after that, we met up. We arranged uh, some uh, some bands from Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, and some local bands who were playing extreme metal like a grindcore and death metal. And we brought up all together. And then, in, from 2013, uh, we started this death metal. Now, 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 this one is the fifth edition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was there a, 
another festival before that in Kathmandu? Is it the first of its kind? The first deaf black yeah, metal festival? Uh, uh, there, uh, there used to be uh, lots of festivals, but they were not like uh, specific to death metal. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were like a mix, uh, some some metal courses and like that. And we started this death metal only for this extreme genre. Mm-hmm. Okay, like we can have a bands from thrash metal, black metal, and then grindcore, mm-hmm. and then even hardcore we want to have it. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, the death metal bands. And so, so this is the uh, this is the only f- only only fest in South Asia that we covers the extreme genre. Mm-hmm. You in the mail? Oh, very yes. much so. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm stoked. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. So, you're in for a treat, you know? I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Is here in, in uh, Kathmandu. Amazing. Are you guys It's quite a shock to the traffic, but otherwise, it's yeah. really great. Everyone's friendly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, where are you from? <laughs> We're from Germany. Hey. Where is that? I don't know. In the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing on the Nepal Death Fest? Yeah, we're enjoying the music and the Nepali scene. Yeah. yeah. Uh, guys from Nada Sadek here now, yeah, he- headliner of Friday's uh, Nepal Death Fest. Uh, guys, how do you feel? Uh, you've seen the place. What, what do you think about the Nepal Death Fest now? Well, it's uh, so far so really good. I mean, we're having a great time. Uh, weather is great. Um, great people too, so we couldn't ask for more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. great stuff. Yeah. You, you've been here before? No, I've never been here and uh, pretty blown away by uh, like the atmosphere and how kind people are and uh, you know it's it's pretty amazing to be yeah. here yeah yeah, yeah it's some, some some sort of culture shock right uh well not for me because i live in dubai and uh, oh, okay so yeah yeah, yeah I, i know a lot of nepalese yeah. people in dubai too so yeah what did, you, what did you think when you first came here i mean i'm from norway so for me this is a very different environment so i mean yeah it's very very different that's yeah, uh, very culturally different but i i find it very peaceful here That people are really nice, and it's, I don't feel like any danger around here. If it's like it's a peaceful country, Buddhism and all that, and it's it's cozy here. It's a nice atmosphere, and yeah, you feel kind of good here. It, it's it's a, it's a funny way, a funny place. Cozy and weird. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. yeah. So where are you guys from? Uh, I'm from the uh, Bulani Kanta. Do you know from Bulani here? Kanta? From here? Yes, Kathmandu. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're Nepal, Nepali. Yes, Nepali yes. yes, we are locals here. Yeah. Where are you from? Yes. I'm from Austria. Austria? Yeah, Austria. and uh, you're talking to uh, Stormbringer. Stormbringer. It's an Austrian metal magazine. Oh, ma- magazine? Uh, magazine. A magazine? Magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You, you, you're on Austrian television now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, what do you think about the festival? Uh, it's cool, man. It's cool. Uh, that's, um, mm, they are progressing little by little, man. Yeah, yeah. What? better place to see bands you're probably never gonna see in Finland than come to Nepal to see them. I met a very key person when it comes to metal in Kathmandu in Nepal and it's Joan. Joan, uh, just tell me a little bit about why did you end up here and why are you so important for the Nepali metal scene? Uh, well, I ended up here because I retired. Um, I'm a U.S. citizen. I had been in the U.S. Peace Corps as a volunteer in my younger days. I fell in love with Nepal. Uh, I, I can understand that. Yeah, it's a cool country. And uh, I came back several times during my life and traveled uh, Nepal and India, and I decided to retire here. Um, I ran into the, co- the founder of the um, uh, Emsen, which is extreme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, um, uh, Emsen. Uh, from Pokhara, from the Pokhara. Yeah, production. it's extreme yeah, yeah. underground metal uh, society. You told me before, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 
<laughs> so uh, he just hired me over the phone uh, as a volunteer and said, come over to Nepal. We are the heart of underground music in South Asia, and we need a writer. So I am their media person now. I g come to the gigs, I write the reviews, I interview bands, uh, and so forth. Now so you got I interviewed by me, for example? Yes, uh. yes. This is like a yearly festival for people like us. Yeah, yeah. Is there no metal festival there in uh, like so India so or in Nepal? Oh, Indian bands, yeah. yeah. foreign bands are here. Yeah. They, they come, they play, they go. We, we only get to see those underground bands, you know, like but no festival. Uh, but no festival. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not kind of shunned in this society, yeah. let's just say. What are you doing here? Yeah. What are you doing here in this, in this uh, really India. freaking city of Tamil in yeah, I'm Kathmandu? I'm for India. Do it? India, for India. Yeah? Yeah. I'm the official photographer of India. Actually, during my life, I was never uh, a metal fan except for growing up when Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin was on the radio. I grew up with this kind of music, yeah. but I never learned the intricacies, the technicality of it. But I love to write, and this has just been the most wonderful three years. Another world has opened up for me. This is Malik Nancy. Yeah. Thanks to Dave for sending me this one. Is it your first time in Nepal? No, this is uh, actually our second time. Uh, on, on the festival or in Nepal? Uh, or or in, in Nepal. Oh, yeah. Second time. Uh, the first, uh, this Nepal Dead Fest, this is the first time. But we played back in um, 2012, I guess, mm. in Nepal. It was a KDM Rocks. Mm. Uh, the gig was called KDM Rocks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. How do you like it here? It's, it's fucking amazing. I mean, like, you know, people here. I, I'm seeing this new kind of shit. Like people are like, you know, circ uh, cir you know, making a circle pit yeah. and doing all sorts of crazy shit. I mean, in Bangladesh, people mostly headbang and do wall of death. But yeah, this yeah, is no, like, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, this is, is circle pit country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, yeah. we just saw a band from from uh, Kathmandu, I think. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, order, yeah. This order, a very yeah. well-known band here, as it seems, and it was really going mad. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I hope I nobody died there. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> love the band, man. Yeah, I was banging my really head cool. like crazy. Thomas here from South Africa. <laughs> Fuck yeah! yeah uh, I always thought I was the the, the farthest traveling guy here. <laughs> yeah, Nepal metal is taking off. Eh? Yeah, yeah. It's um, quite surprised to see so many bands from so many countries yeah, and so yeah. many people from all over the world. The audience is more mixed than the range yeah. of bands. Yeah, it's yeah, it is, really it is, fucking it is, exciting. It yeah, is. but uh, we saw some some really special bands yesterday from Bangladesh and everything. So uh, what what do you think about? Is this the first time for you here? Yeah. My my first time in Nepal, I didn't know, I didn't expect a metal fest. It was yeah. a fucking lovely surprise. You come out and hey, we have a death metal fest today. <laughs> like, so you, you didn't you didn't plan to come here? You just saw there was a death metal fest. We walked past and just saw metalheads in the street. I was my people. <laughs> but that's how it works. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised to see the number of like local bands, yeah. Nepali bands. I was really impressed it's by huge. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I, I did not expect to have yeah. such a vibrant, like yeah. diverse they, metal they, scene. They got a huge metal scene, uh, but it's really underground, and uh, you should check it out on the internet. 
Yes, uh, def- yeah, because most of the bands maybe don't make it to Europe your or something. Name of your magazine? Stormbringer. It's there. Stormbringer. Yeah, One time. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use you guys for some information on <laughs> Nepal in the future. Ancestor from China, you're in Nepal Death Fest. Ancestor from China, yeah. You know, Nepal is a really, really, really uh, place people like to travel in China. Yeah, I think people are going to see here the, the snow mountain, the Everest or whatever. But to see the metal scene here, well... <laughs> Definitely worth to check out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we have just finished a show in Bangkok with Legion of the Damned, yeah. Dutch band, and okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yesterday we arrived here, and today we are gonna play the Nepal Dance Fest. Um, yeah, we are gonna uh, release our first full-length album in the middle of this year, and yeah, hope we can see any of you, any of the watcher. Um, somewhere yeah. in the world, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I have the guys from Disorder now here, a uh, Nepalese band who plays tomorrow on the Nepal Death Fest. Uh, well, have you been on the, on, it's the fifth time already, yeah, festival, have you, have you been on the fest before? No, actually this is the first time I really? was abroad, yeah. Uh, like this is my first time yeah. doing, seeing this, that fest. Yeah. Exactly. Have you been here before? Uh, like we, we played Nepal Death Fest 3 before. Yeah about three years ago but he didn't no he was a bird oh, okay and <laughs> we were a band we had to play it <laughs> What do you think about the Nepal Death Fest? Is it, um, is it good for attracting other people from other countries, yeah. uh, metal scenes? Yeah definitely because it attracts a lot of international bands yeah. and Lo- lo- the local bands get to play as well with with a lot of international bands. They they get a sort of like a better platform to play mm-hmm. rather than just uh, just wasting their talents. That's why this Nepal yeah, yeah. is pretty important. Yeah, I yeah. mean there are many bands I never heard of before, yeah. but um, uh, it's totally worth check them out on yeah. online on YouTube anywhere. So people heavy, come to Kathmandu. <laughs> yeah, heavy and proud. Yeah, it's exactly. a cool scene here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nepal Death Fest. Yeah. Check it out. We organize like this in every year Nepal Death Fest. More like we invite lots of more than 15 bands, you know, in Nepal. So the main problem is like financial problems. Although we uh, always are uh, success in our program, you know. Neck deep in filth. Watch out for that. Okay. <laughs> how, how did you get here? Are you from Nepal or? Um, yes, I'm from here. Yeah. Mhm. So the whole band is from here. Yeah. 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 So when there is a festival in Nepal, your band's got to play. Right. Yeah. yeah, sometimes we don't. Yeah. 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 Actually, we used to be another band. Yeah. Uh, it was more metallic, hardcore, and now uh, since uh, the guy is singing with us, mm. he left for somewhere to another country. So meanwhile, we have uh, this is a side project we're doing. Oh, okay. What, yeah. What's the other band? Uh, it was called Juga. Juga. Okay. Yeah. okay. So what do you say about the festival here in Kathmandu? Oh, this is really nice. This is really nice. Yeah, and it's uh, getting better. Yeah. Uh, and um, the fifth time already. Yes. Yeah. Yes, fifth time. Yeah. Fifth time. It, it started quite small. Yeah. But the guy who organizes this, like, he is like uh, going very strong with yeah. this. Yeah. So we are having a fun in Nepal Death Fest. You know, this is the fifth anniversary of our this fest. It's the biggest fest throughout this Asia. And uh, thank, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching us, supporting us. You know, 
we have song songs like uh, mixed with slamming dead as well as grind vocal you know yeah. and we also have good like uh, <laughs> How is the metal scene in uh, Nepal and in Kathmandu itself? Is there a big metal scene underground? Yeah, underground metal scene is pretty good, you know. And then, uh, unlike uh, unlike in 2012 and 2013, now the scene is more more bigger. Uh, like it's a uh, it's in every city of of Nepal. You can see a uh, lots of people has traveled from different cities to see this fest here in Kathmandu. Yeah, from so, Vienna, for example. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a uh, you know pretty good. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You should come over here. It's yeah. definitely worth the trip. So yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> next year, sixth time. Yeah, is six it days. is it already uh, fixed? Uh, that yeah. it is next year, the sixth yeah. time. Uh, yeah. There is a, a, a one band, Anarchos. Uh, they are the fixed band. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. For so it definitely happen next yeah. year. Yeah. So if you have three words to describe the Nepali metal scene, what would you use? Three words. Brotherhood and love. And brotherhood and love. It's just two words. Brotherhood and love. Yeah, of course. You want me to add another one? Yeah, of course. Okay. Brotherhood, love and peace. If you are watching our video, then please support our Nepali metal. Support yeah, Extreme okay. Underground of Nepal. Yeah. yeah you can go to display in Germany, it is the one of the sickest fest in South Asia, you know. Guys, there, there will be lots of fucking ancient mosquito and ancient headbang, you know. Come and have fun in Nepal. Yeah, yeah. you will. <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely know, will. Yeah. <laughs> you know the ticket price is cheap, beer is cheap, everything yeah. is cheap here. Yeah. People are come nice. Over. Yeah, <laughs> come over and come and enjoy your holiday and enjoy yeah. Nepal that fest yeah. also. You should go on the next holiday, you should go to the mountains here in Nepal and visiting Kathmandu and uh, Nepal Death Fest, of course.